MedStar Washington Hospital Center hit a milestone of helping burn victims. Doctors now have performed 1,000 laser surgeries. Dr. Taryn Travis joins me now to talk about why lasers help and what's ahead. Good morning to you, Dr. Travis. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jeanette. Happy to talk to you. So let's start with the basics. What is laser surgery in this context? So lasers are used in the context of burn scar to apply very high amounts of power to create tiny holes in the scar. And what this does is over time, since people are no longer trying to heal an acute burn wound, they're able to fill in these holes with more normal tissue. So what this does over time for people is improve things like their pain and their itch, stiffness of their scars, difficulties with movement, and it can really be lifestyle altering for our patients. How long has this been used? The lasers themselves were invented a couple decades ago. We've had them here at Washington Hospital since 2016, mm -hmm. and we've been using them continuously since then, and just really building our volume and program and helping more and more patients every year. You know, it was interesting. I was reading the notes here, and, and apparently there's not so much clarity just yet as to why this works so well on the cellular level. Am I understanding that correctly? That's correct. There's ongoing research to try to understand exactly how this works, because if we understand how something works, we can figure out how to make it better and more effective for a patient. Is there a candidate, a burn victim that would be best, like the best candidate for this, others who perhaps wouldn't be? And why is that? Really, we evaluate any patient that comes to our burn center to figure out if this would be helpful for them. This can help things like we mentioned, pain, itch, thickness. It can help with the color of one scar. So depending on what the different uh, attributes are of a patient's scar, I can use different technologies to help them. The patients that really notice a difference are those who are starting out with very thick, very symptomatic scar. And these are the folks that can get back to doing the things they really enjoy in life. And speaking of getting back, what's the timeline versus traditional methods of treating a scar? How, how long is the process? That's one of our favorite things about using lasers is the traditional teaching is that you wouldn't touch a scar before a year. And so these patients were just asked to deal with their symptoms for a whole year. Laser scar revision can start really as soon as a burn is healed. And so I have a tool that I can offer patients and say, let's try this. It might help you. Um, the process itself is different for every patient in terms of how many procedures they need. But we can get started, you know, weeks after a burn injury. We got to wrap now, but I'm, I'm curious, uh, you know, this is such an advancement in, in, in this situation. What's the next frontier when it comes to burn victims? What would you like to see that would really make a difference? We would love for this to be more targeted. So if we can adjust depth and power within a scar, within a patient, that would be the ultimate. And we're working on research to try to figure that out right now. Hopefully we'll be reporting on, on, on the next um, milestone and, and accomplishments soon. Dr. Taryn Travis joining us this morning. Thanks for speaking with us. Thanks for having me. 821.